Hey Chargers, welcome to another episode of Thursday Trends with a Z, your source of current events and trending stories. I'm Bridget Gajewski. And I'm Liliana Camilleri. Today's first story will be brought to you by Braden with a story about things to do at the Detroit, at the draft in Detroit. Hey Chargers, this week the NFL draft is coming to Detroit. The event is lasting Thursday through Saturday. With this draft, you don't even need a ticket to enter. Detroit parks will have large screens to show the draft large. Things that you can do at the draft um, include a Pro Football Hall of Fame exhibit and autograph signing opportunities with former and current players. Now on to Jilly and Claire talking about the new Taylor Swift album. Hi, I'm Claire. And I'm Jilly. As you know, Taylor Swift's new album, The Tortured Post Department, came out on April 19th. With this album coming out, Taylor Swift has broken records, including some of her own. The Tortured Poets Department became Spotify's most streamed album in a single day and exceeded 300 million streams. This wasn't the only record she broke. Her collaboration with Post Malone titled Fortnite became the most streamed song in a single day, topping Mariah Carey's popular Christmas hit. Taylor now holds the entire top three biggest album debuts in Spotify history. You want to hear a Taylor Swift joke? No. Taylor Swift isn't a joke. Are you crazy? Now say it to Abby and Viv talking about today in history. Thank you, Jillian and Claire. Today in history, the double helix structure of DNA was described for the first time in 1953. Francis Crick and Wa James D. Watson published their groundbreaking findings about the molecules containing genetic information. Now April 25th is known as National DNA Day. Rosalind Franklin was the truth founder of this, of this, but had died before she could be recognized for her hard work. Now on to Brownie and Aaron for talking about the Coachella recap. Hi, Thank you. It's me, Aaron. And me, Alexa. Today we'll be talking about the music festival Coachella. This festival takes place in Indio, California. It goes from Friday to Sunday. Lots of influences went, including Tari Yummy, Charlie D'Amelio, and Alex Earl. Also, many celebrities went, including Taylor Swift, Justin Bieber, Paris Hilton. Some people who performed were Doja Cat, Lana Del Rey, Sabrina Carpenter, and Ice Spice. Coachella is a very popular event and has been around for 25 years and started in 1990. All right, that's all for today. Now off to Griffin and Caden. Recently, it has been found out that Caitlin Clark will have her own set of Nike shoes in the WNBA. This is considered a renewal, as Clark originally had a deal with Nike in 2022, but it expired last season. Clark signed the eight-year deal and was estimated to be worth up to $28 million. Multiple other companies have partnered with Clark, some notable ones being Gatorade, State Farm, and more. These endorsements have been able to help Clark gain over $3 million with Nike. She's expecting to gain much more. Nike says that this is an effort to focus more on the women's business of the company as it only makes up 22% of the brand. They have also said that the deal marks part of a larger effort to drive greater interest into previously overlooked areas such as the women's team sports. Now over to Logan and Andrew talking about a pollution issue in New Delhi, India. I'm Logan. India's capital choked on toxic fumes Tuesday as a thick and pungent haze spread from a fire at a towering trash dump. This fire is the latest in a series of landfill blazes that authorities have struggled to bring under control. Methane emissions aren't the only hazard stemming from landfills. Over decades, toxins have seeped into the ground, polluting the water supply for thousands nearby. I would tell a joke right now, but it would just be hot garbage. Passing it back to the anchors. Thank you for watching this episode of the Thursday Trends. Make sure to check out tomorrow's Friday 5 for announcements, reports, sports, weather, and special segments. Have a great day.